very good day to you people my name is Mohit and guys today I'm gonna show you one of the shortest code uh, for making an analog clock barely eight lines of action script 3 guys barely eight lines lovely and all the assets that I need have been already been put up on the stage guys I need uh, the body of the clock and I need the second hand the minute hand and the hour hand it's already on the stage guys all the four pictures these are pictures actually have been converted to movie clips before I started this tutorial I am assuming guys you already know how to make a movie clip it's pretty simple for guys who don't know let me uh, try to reconvert a movie clip into a movie clip to show it to them so uh, you can select the symbol you can right click and say convert to symbol or else you can press F8 on the keyboard then choose a registration point guys the registration point uh, that I chose for the body of the clock is bang in the center and say ok after making sure that the type is set to a movie clip but I'm going to say cancel because it's already a movie clip and uh, f the registration point for the second hand the minute hand and the shortest uh, hour hand have been set to the bottom middle bottom ok here bottom edge okay so um, guys uh, what I need to do is I need to place th these uh, needles in the center of this body of the clock and uh, we'll be good to go then but before I actually start putting them in the center I need to give them instance name okay uh, I already have called the second hand uh, the second hand sh should be actually second underscore hand it should correspond to the way I've written the action script and this is sh you know the shorter one is called the minute hand minute underscore hand rather and the shortest one the, sh the short guy is called um, r underscore hand then uh, let me align them I'll select all three of them together I'll open up the aligns panel and I'll ensure that I say align bottom edge okay let me just put them one on top of each other align bottom edge okay very nice this uh, then what I need to do is I need to bring all the three needles together and place them in the center of the clock the body of the clock I'm not very dexterous guys so I can go a little here and there okay uh, I'm assuming it's, it's somewhere in the center now mm, almost that is the center so uh, what I can do is I can attempt to place it in the center once again mm, I'll just select the three arms and then I'll use the keyboard yeah pretty much it it's, uh, it's more or less in the center now let me test the, the uh, movie now a control enter on the keyboard guys hmm looking good I know what else I need I need to uh, get in a small circle out here look nice uh, let me draw a small circle using the old tool uh, pressing the shift key uh, that should be good enough uh, let me convert this to a movie clip and right click say convert to symbol keep the registration point center pull it up place it in the center mm. let me test the movie now control enter on the keyboard uh, that's looking much better guys okay so all's well thumbs up now it's time for me to dig inside the actions panel and explain the action script to you okay guys uh, most of the guys uh, most of the tutorials that you might have seen till date or most of the reference that you might have gone through may have used a timer but I thought it was more easier to do it with the help of uh, the enter frame event guys enter frame events fire off every time flash encounters a new frame or if there's just one frame if there's just one frame it will fire off at the rate of 24 frames per second the FPS set for the 
document and uh, the default is 24 so this uh, action script will fire off 24 times in one second so uh, what I've done is I've created an enter frame event and I'm telling flash please um, handle the time using a function called time handler and the function time handler what it does is through line number four I've created a variable current date of the type date is equal to is equal to new date okay that creates a new instant of instance of the date class okay now the creating a new instance of the date class is helpful in fetching the the current time Line number 5 uh, uses the rotation property and rotates the second hand by as much as uh, current date into seconds multiplied by 6. So if the uh, number of seconds is um, let's say uh, 60, if I multiply 60 by 6 that makes it uh, 360. So uh, that's how the formula works guys. The rotation is supposed to be in degrees that's the reason I, I uh, multiplied the value that I'm getting through uh, current date multiplied by seconds by 6 because uh, 1 second should correspond to 6 degrees 6 times it should show up uh, as 6 degrees on the analog clock okay the minute hand dot rotation using the rotation property I'm rotating the minute hand by as much as current date dot minutes that will fetch now current date dot minutes will fetch the current minute 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes whatever and multiply it by 6 so that we can rotate it by as much as those many degrees and you see <coughs> plus current date into seconds by 10 now guys this formula was written because the minute hand otherwise was uh, updating only after every single minute so it would uh, you know rotate uh, six degrees suddenly when it moved from let's say the tenth minute to the eleventh minute or the eleventh minute to the twelfth minute it was not happening in real time it was happening only after one single minute I didn't want that I wanted it to happen real time so I worked up a formula wherein the sudden um, spurt of six uh, degrees wouldn't happen otherwise guys it was jumping after every minute by six degrees by using this formula I have uh, worked out a way in whereby the minute hand would be rotating all the time and not only after one minute how did I work up the formula guys it's a little complex I wouldn't be explaining it to you right now but I'll tell you the relationship between the minute the seconds and uh, the hours see the seconds are 60 times as fast as the minute and the minute are 12 times as fast as the hour so working on this uh, theory guys you can work up uh, you can understand the formula that I've used it's, it's a little bit complex I'll uh, leave it for the moment it took me a lot of time my head actually started to spin when I was working on the uh, formula in line number six it took me quite some time but eventually it happened and uh, the result is before you the R hand uh, dot rotation using the rotation property will be rotating by as much as current date into the number of hours multiplied by 30 plus current date into minutes by 2 I'll leave it up to you guys this is all about logic it's not about flash uh, if you're good with mathematics you will understand why we use this formula so uh, here guys uh, before I leave you I, I will uh, show you a publish preview once again a control enter on the keyboard and here goes boom alright guys so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial liked it you would implement it on your projects uh, I'll see you next time with yet another uh, flash and action script 3 tutorial or it could even be a uh, dream weaver ciao take care